about yesterday. Yesterday, as you may know, was Earth Day. And um, so I was, uh, I said to somebody at dinner, I said, Happy Earth Day. And they're like, It's not my birthday. And I was like, No, I said, Happy Earth Day. And then somebody started singing Happy Earth Day to you. And I was like, That's very, very, very cute. But then in my mind, I was like, Where's my note? So I jot, jotted it down. And, uh, and then, so this morning I thought, Oh, well, we need, you know, need a theme. So let's, let's come up with something that riffs on that. So basically, what happens is you figure out what you've done. So from birthday to Earth Day, you've taken off the B and changed the spelling, right? Um, so the trick then, the assignment then, is to find other phrases that you take off the B and change the spelling. And here's what we came up with. Let's see, where did that list go? Uh, lays of Glory, Lays of Glory, from, I think about Lays. Right? Oh, that's good. That's yeah. what, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, yeah, rake, rake Dancing, what you do, you know, for, like, ballroom. I'm not sure I include it. Fred Astaire is all an activity, Rake Dancing. There you go, right. Perfect. Let's put these in the red. So there are some rules to the grid. Grid generally um, will, not have, will not have more than 78 words. Um, basically, the, your, your word count and like you don't want to have too many, well, you can't have any two-letter words, first of all. Every word has to be three letters or more. Um, you have to maintain symmetry, which the computer is going to help you do. The, the more open your grid is, like the more interconnected it is, the, right. the nicer it feels to solve because the less isolated it is. The fill is what we call all the words in the grid that aren't the theme. So the fill should be a collection of words and phrases that are common, um, that are made, made hard by difficult clues, not by obscure words. Um, and you don't want to use you don't want to use crazy words. You don't want to use again disease, death, and drugs. Not too many abbreviations. Not too many proper nouns. Um, and just try to get some of these longer ones done, because once you once you get these in place, the, the small words will sort of tell you. Right. You want you want your um, longest entries to be the most interesting ones in the grid. Uh, wreck. Then you go through and you add clues. So here you have your list of words, and ideally these would all be filled in with actual words. And you would put in your what was your I like your Fred what was your Fred Astaire? Uh, Fred Astaire's autumn activity. Oh yeah. Caps <laughs> uh, lock. Caps lock. <laughs> uh, Activity and a question. Mm -hmm. and a question mark doesn't mean I'm actually I'm asking. It's a pun. So question mark signals something punny is going on. <laughs> Be alert. That's really? The, that's the that's the crossword constructor's equivalent of a cheesy rim shot noise. Right. <laughs> and and the editor goes through and they change that to um, Bing Crosby's activity in the sequel to Anchors Away because in Anchors Away he dances with a mop. All right. I mean, Jim Kelly. Jim Kelly. Kelly over there, right? <laughs> a fact checker would then change it to Jim Kelly. <laughs> the, the main thing with clues that to realize is that they should be the same part of speech as the answer. So if you're cluing a noun, you need to make sure your clue is a noun phrase. Um, you know, if the, if the answer is dog, a novice constructor might clue it as walks on a leash, um, which doesn't work because walks on a leash is a verb phrase. So yeah, that's a straight definition, like for dog, you know, it might just be, you know, uh, Rex or Fido, uh, uh, you know, common pet, dog, how boring. Um, you have a fill in the blank, you have a trivia clue, punny or tricky clue, um, what's a good punny clue? Oh, for, like for toe, let's take the, the word toe, let's say toe is in the grid, you know, you might, you might, um, for an easy clue, you might say, you know, foot extension. Fingers, no fingers counterpart. I don't know something. You know something, something really simple. Um, dactyl. Where that hippie girl you knew in college wore a ring. Right. There you go. Yeah. Perfect. And then, the, but it's something you know something really tricky might be uh, low digit. Low digit with a question mark because you might think it's one, but no, it's toe. <laughs> right. So that's sneaky. How sneaky. But basically, that is how we make puzzles. Again, I'm Patrick. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.